Quantum GIS Intro Part 12 on editing vector layers. So in the previous installment we talked about georeferencing an image. In this installment we're going to try to use the lines that we can see for the boundaries that are shown on that image and create vectors. So we have this red vector layer and we want to create a new vector layer that syncs up with the red. So we want to snap to those red boundaries. We can go into our settings, snapping options, and I've already set it up basically saying I want to snap to this red vector layer. I want to snap on both the vertex and the segment, and I've given it a tolerance in pixels. I could have chosen map units which are like decimal degrees, but basically I'm saying if my cursor when I'm digitizing is within 10 pixels of this line, just follow the line. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and say okay. Now I need to create a new layer, new shapefile layer. I'll create a polygon and I'll take the WGS84. You have to be careful to be in a reasonable projection space. And I know that's the default projection for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. It's got an ID automatically as an integer. And I'll say OK. I need to give it a name. I'll put it in my Spain folder and call it Sevilla Districts. Say OK. So now I've got this Sevilla Districts polygon, which is showing as this sort of uh, taupe color, gray color, polygon and I need to set up my editing by toggling the editing and I want to capture a polygon so I'll s click that and first I'll zoom in on a target polygon how about right here go back and start capturing my polygon and I'll just trace along the border of one of these districts that I want to show up, click a point wherever there is going to be a common nexus between any adjacent features. That'll give you a place to snap to as you create adjacent features and help you with your topology. So I'm clicking along here. Now I should be able to snap. And if I move my cursor around, as you see, it's going to snap there to the correct vertices. Now I'll move along here and it snaps. I'll get that point. I'll get this point. I'll get this point and this point and this point. So basically uh, that's all I really want. Give it the ID of one and I've got a polygon and I can toggle the editing. Well, actually before I do that I want to go to Properties, Fields, and you can see I have an ID field. Now I want to add an attribute field called District Name. It will be a text, there we go. text, width of say 50. OK. Now I've got two fields. One of them, let's look at the attribute table. One's the ID and one's the district name didn't have any value in there so I'll go ahead and add one that's uh, let's turn sorry let's turn this off visibility so that's called Los Romedios and what I want to do is I want to for this feature type in the district name to click anywhere and close that now I should be able to go and toggle editing and I'll save it and now you see it's not editable anymore and it's matched up nicely synced in topology with the edge matched bordering provinces and I can also label it now so I can go to properties labels display which label do I want district name. There's Los Romedios. 
So what I've done is I've taken a georeferenced image and I've begun to edit a layer of boundaries that will sync up with my existing vector layer and greatly increase my uh, ability to define these inner urban districts. And I could keep adding one polygon after another, edge matching them as I go along. So there you go, there's a basic editing intro.